another crazy science experiment for you guys. But before we get into the video, I wanted to remind you guys that we do still have the 100 fidget spinner giveaway going on. So if you want a chance to win some of these fidget spinners right here, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. It's going to be at the very top. I'm also going to pin a comment for you guys. There is 100 opportunities to win and the giveaway ends soon, so be sure to check it out. Now for today's video, we've got a very special substance that we're going to be working with. This, ladies and gentlemen, is gallium. So as I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen recently, YouTube has been filled with gallium videos, specifically gallium fidget spinners. So I decided I had to get my hands on some gallium, but not just a little bit of gallium. But we've got six kilograms of gallium. If you guys aren't familiar with gallium, it's basically a liquid metal. Well, it's a metal, but it has a really low melting point. So you can turn it into liquid form really, really easily and then turn it back into solid form really easily as well. So you can do a lot of really cool things with it. So if you guys are excited for this video and you want to see more gallium videos and more gallium science experiments, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Let's try and get 30,000 likes on this video. If we can do that, I'll be back with another one very soon. Also guys, I almost forgot. Big shout out to my man, Sui Nation, aka Just I almost forgot. I saw, I saw he was getting angry, so I had to let you guys know who was on the camera. So, without any further ado guys, let's start playing with some gallium. Alright guys, so like I mentioned at the beginning, gallium has a really low melting point. So, all we should have to do is basically put it into this hot water, give it about 10 minutes, and it should start to melt. So, I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Alright guys, so we left the gallium in the water for probably about 5 to 10 minutes so far. So, let's take a look at one of these containers and see what's happening inside. Oh my god. You see the liquid? Like pooling up at the bottom there. Yeah. That's no! Awesome. Bro, what the hell? It actually just moves around in your hand. That's awesome. Let's see. Just, oh, oh! That's okay. All right guys, for our first experiment, we're gonna follow suit with the entirety of YouTube and make ourselves a gallium fidget spinner because I've seen it done a million times and I just have to try it out myself. So we've got our silicone mold here. Basically what we have to do is mix these two together and then press a fidget spinner into it so that we have our mold and then add the gallium in after. So we've got both colors here. Let's mix these two together. All right, in three seconds, this entire thing is gonna be completely molded together and ready for the fidget spinner. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Boom! There you go guys. As you can see, it's a slightly lighter blue than what we started with and I think it's ready for our fidget spinner. So, we've got our Batman fidget spinner right here. This is actually the only one I haven't seen a gallium mold done of. So we're gonna press that into our mold. We're gonna wait five minutes and it should be ready for us to take it out and add in the gallium. Alright guys, so we've let the gallium sit for a little while and it is full out liquid. I don't know if you guys can... Can you hear I that? I can hear that. Oh my god. Look inside there. Yep. That's like pure liquid, but there's a big chunk in the center. See what we got. Look at that. That is a liquid metal. There is a big chunk in here. This is what the syringe was in. It kind of looks like something, but it's not intentional. We're going to pour it into here and see what we can see if it'll harden into an actual shape. All right, guys, so we're going to wait. We're going to let this mold harden. We also still have to wait for our actual mold of the Batman fidget spinner to harden as well. And then we're going to add gallium to that and wait for that. Basically, we got a lot of waiting to do, so we'll see you guys in a couple seconds. All right, guys, the mold is almost finished. We're going to give it a little bit longer, but we're going to pop the coin out first so we can make this gallium coin. Look at that. You can even see the nice. imprint of the toonie. By the way, yes, we're Canadian, so we got toonies and loonies. All right, we're going to try and gently pop out this Batman fidget spinner too. Oh, 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 go. let's go. That's so lit. Take a look at that, guys. Gallium Batman fidget spinner in the making. Let's go. All right, guys, we've got another container of gallium. We're getting into the science portion, so I'm going to actually pop my goggles on. Oh, thanks, because I, I have my hey, goggles. Hey, you're over there. You're fine. Oh, my God. Look at that, man. That's liquid metal. I just can't get over that. Look at the cylinder inside. I like that. That can come out. That, that can, can definitely come out. Come out. Whoa! It looks like a wob effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> For anyone that's who knows a good the Pokemon, call. This looks like a gallium wob effect. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna extract some of the gallium with our syringe and add it into our mold and hopefully get a functioning gallium Batman fidget spinner. So we just fill in around the sides here. All right, 
So that bubble is going to mess with us a little bit, but we're also going to fill in the coin at the back here. It looks all right. It's not perfect, but I think it'll work at the end of the day, and that's what's most important. So all we got to do again is just wait, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're still waiting for the gallium to harden in our molds, but take a look at this. You can actually break off some of this gallium here. Look at that. So before, as you guys saw, this was liquid, and now, oh, oh. And now it's back to metal. All right, guys, one thing you might not know about me, I'm a scientist, I'm a sniper, but I'm also the world's strongest man. I'm gonna break metal for you guys right now. Look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna break metal for you guys. <laughs> Look at that. Tell me I'm not the strongest YouTuber in the world. Break this. So we've waited about an hour. We let all of the gallium set and we have both of our molds completely finished. So let's pop these out and take a look. So first thing, let's go with our coin. Oh, that's a You can see Canada across the top, $2 on the bottom. You can even see the polar bear in the center. So this mold is literally just the box that our syringe came in and we decided to fill it up. And let's take a look and see what it looks like. Okay. Turned out pretty cool. Looks just like a syringe, eh? Especially when you hold it this way. And like, yeah, hold on, like, hold it into the light. Hold like on. That? Hold it into the like light. Right here. Yeah, right there. What is it? it looks like a syringe right now. Yeah, right? it looks like you're syringing your face. I'm, so I'm just like spraying my face with the syringe. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, this one is rock hard right now. <laughs> now for the uh, final piece, we've got our Batman fidget spinner. So we're gonna try and pop this out gently. <laughs> I don't wanna. All right, so the Batman fidget spinner is complete. Now we just have to add our bearing into the center. Come on, please fit. Let's hammer that in. All right, we're gonna hammer it in. I like it. Ready? Yeah. No, 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 no. Why did you say hammer it in? Why? It's good, it's good, Why it's did good. I listen to you? Check it out, it's good, it's good. That's not good. <laughs> I'm cheese. I'm cheese. Okay, we're not giving up on the Batman fidget spinner. I've added all of the gallium back into this warm water, so it's melting away. We're gonna add that back into here and freeze it up again so that we can take another attempt at putting the bearing into the center of the fidget spinner. All right guys, so the fidget spinner is in the fridge. We're gonna wait for that to freeze, but in the meantime, we are gonna move on to the masterpiece of this entire video, which is the gallium Coke bottle. So we've got our Coke bottle right here. We have all of our gallium containers, which we have left in warm water for the past like two hours. As you can hear, they're completely liquid. So we're gonna take these. First, we gotta empty out the Coke bottle and then we're gonna add the gallium inside let that freeze and then we should have a complete gallium coke bottle we'll just have to cut the plastic off and it'll be done we've got our first batch of gallium we're gonna try pouring this in oh my god it's so heavy <laughs> like world's heaviest coke bottle easily easily the world's heaviest coke bottle i mean it is metal so you would expect it to be heavy but let's put a cap on this and put her in the freezer all right guys round number two of the batman fidget spinner we're gonna pop it out of the mold and hopefully it works the moment of truth can we get the bearing into the center of the new fidget spinner just hammer it in. <laughs> no. All right guys, after hours of hard work, we managed to get the bearing directly in the center here. Now it's time to try it out and see if it spins. Are you ready? Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Boom, look at that. So our Batman fidget spinner worked, but we have one last experiment to check out. Our DIY gallium coke bottle. So let's go check the freezer and see how it's doing. Guys, smash that thumbs up button. Hopefully this is completely frozen and ready to go. Three, two, one. Oh. 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 
All right, so the next step is we gotta cut this open and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh my God, we just poked a hole in it. It's not frozen yet. It's not frozen. It's dripping everywhere. Okay, we're putting this back in the freezer. Back in the freezer, back in the freezer. It's a gorilla tape thing? It's a gorilla tape thing. We're gonna leave this in here for a little bit longer and get back to it in a second. A few moments later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God, guys. We were just trying to open it again. Dustin saw sawed like a one line a here, slit. and it shot everywhere. I look like I have gallium on my shirt. It's all over the floor. All right, guys. It has been 24 hours since we put the Coke bottle in the fridge. Hopefully, it's completely frozen now. There's not gonna be any liquid gallium spraying anywhere. But let's take a look at our final product. All right guys, so I'm feeling around for some soft spots. I don't feel anything, so I think we're good to go. The moment of truth, guys. Smash that thumbs up button. Give us all the luck you can. Hopefully, this works. Okay, let's just go for it. Oh my god. Here. Okay, so there's a little piece here. That was probably soft when we were squeezing it earlier, and that might have been what shot out, but things are looking promising. Okay, we gotta just pop the top off now. Just pop off. Here! Oh. Okay, now we just gotta get the bottom. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. Oh my god. I'm aged. I'm aged. Oh! Oh! Nice. My god. Look at that. Solid gallium coke bottle. Okay guys, so we have our gallium coke bottle right here, but it's not finished. We need a coke wrapper on this, so we're gonna take this cut around it and put it back on. Okay guys, we've got our Coke wrapper. It's actually still on the plastic, so that should help with putting it on our Gallium Coke bottle. Let's take a look. Bam! The Coke bottle is complete. I think it's time to roll the cinematics. Okay guys, so as you can see, we made a little bit of a mess while trying to get the thumbnail. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, there's literally gallium all over the floor, all over the table. But, the next and final thing that we have to do is melt our gallium back down so that we can use it again and just watch metal melt, because it's super satisfying. So, we got our blowtorch here. Oh. Bye bye, Toonie. Oh my god. Tip is dripping everywhere. Okay, we'll finish melting this later, but next let's do our Batman fidget spinner. The whole thing's melting already. What? No, no, no. Oh my god. How long till the bearing falls out? Oh, oh there, we there go. you go. down below guys it was nice to us but it's gone now okay guys we've done the batman fidget spinner we've done the whatever this is we've done our coin but last and definitely not least we got to do the coke bottle but we're not just gonna melt this we've got to go old school we're gonna bring back an old trend the 1000 degree night to Ooh. melt this thing we're gonna try and cut through it and see I what happens i didn't even know this was gonna happen i like this what the fuck? Oh, 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 it's gonna start spitting. New tank. <laughs> and we're back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens, baby. Overkill. Oh, my God. It was really satisfying for like one second and then it completely stopped. Ugh. Oh, my God. Yo, yo, yo. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I was like, what's that smell? I guess the top of the knife was hot and I was pressing on it. I didn't even notice. Okay, let's heat this up some more. Let's try and cut all the way through this Coke bottle. Round number two. Let's turn this off. That's way hotter. Look wow. Glowing red. 1,000 degree knife. First. Gallon Coke bottle. Oh my God. You see that? It's yeah, seeping yeah. through. It's gone. Maybe you saw a little? Just to move the excess out of the way, you know? Yeah, yeah, good idea. I like the way you do it. Oh, the gap you have. 
Huge. Just, you know, casually sawing through some metal. Just another day at the office, folks. This is how they get those knife commercials to like cut through metal. It's just gallium. Yeah, those, this is the strongest knife in the world. <laughs> the sharpest knife metal. can cut through a hammer. All liars. Don't believe what you see on TV. If you see it on YouTube, though, it's real. Guaranteed. Yep. Man, I honestly, this is probably one of the most satisfying things I've ever done. <laughs> All right, we're getting close. You know, do you think you can just break it at this point? Only one way to find out. All right, guys. There is just a small piece of metal left holding this together. As I showed you earlier, I'm super strong. I'm so strong I can break metal. So I'm gonna try and break this right now. Okay, wait, wait. Before we do this, I gotta get, get nice and close on that. Look at that. This is amazing. I kinda don't wanna break this because I just wanna leave it in my room, but... Gotta do it for you guys. Smash that thumbs up button right now. Are you ready? Were you laughing at? That was really hard. <laughs> the little, no. the snap sound it was, was my so favorite. Like, <laughs> it like, wasn't loud at all. Well, as I told you guys, I'm super strong. Again, just broke metal for you. So here, take a look at the inside of this, guys. You got a good view of what it looks like. It, this is a, what's inside a gallium coke bottle episode. Now, there's just so much value in this episode. We've done so many cool things. All right, guys. We sawed it in half, but now it's time to get rid of the rest of it. We're going straight blowtorch to the Domas. Let's get it. Here. Bro. Look at it. No! Bro, it's like spring out dust. Bro, yeah, I think this tank is up. I think the blowtorches might be being affected by the gallium, because look at my hands, guys. There's gallium, like, dust all over my hands, and now there's some all over the torch. I don't know if that's bad or not, but I don't really want to push it, because if it is, you know, it might explode. But, as you can see, we melted a massive portion of this Coke bottle right here. Yeah, I can see you. Oh my god, it's a mirror! Damn, I'm sexy. Holy shit. Okay, anyways, guys. You have black marks on your forehead. Really? Like, legit. Oh! I'm ready for war. Oh, there you go. Okay. I'm ready for the outro now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. A huge shout out to my boy Dustin for helping out. Be sure to check out his channel. <laughs> down below in the description. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you guys want a chance to win one of the 100 fidget spinners that I'm doing the giveaway with, be sure to check out the link at the top of the description. Also, if you guys want to see some more Galleon videos, let me know what ideas you have and what you want to see next in the comment section down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Toodles!